So Viacom CBS might sell Viz Manga partner Simon & Schuster. So what does that exactly mean for Viz Media? Well, we're going to get into that. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So Viacom CBS is talking about selling Simon & Schuster. Now, if you're wondering why I'm talking about Simon & Schuster, Simon & Schuster is uh, very important because, of course, you know, they're known very well for the work of Stephen King, for example. Many people know Stephen King, of course. Judy Bloom. You know, they have been known for a lot of authors. You know, they have done very, very good works in the past. You know, they've distributed great books. And now Viacom CBS feels that it's best to sell them off to someone else. But you can definitely tell that they think very lowly of their books and whatnot. And we're going to get into how they see it that way. Why they say that. Because, well, there's a lot to talk about with this. And we'll get into how this could even possibly affect Viz. So, let's talk about this. Simon & Schuster, the publishing powerhouse behind best-selling authors like Stevie King, Ursula K. Lee, Guin, and Judy Bloom, is up for sale. Its owner, Viacom CBS, announced Wednesday that after a strategic review, key term, strategic review, right? The book publisher was no longer essential to its business and that it would seek a buyer. We will look to complete a transaction that maximizes its value once the market stabilizes, Robert M. Backish, the chief executive, wrote in a memo to employees, most of whom learned of the sale only on Wednesday. Okay, now, this next part is a big one. Keep this in mind. Viacom CBS, the newly combined business controlled by Shari Redstone, is betting its future on streaming and sports content. Owning a major book publisher does not fit into those plans so you see which we're going to get into that about them seeing it that way but the thing is they don't see a book publisher really being something major to them they're more into the streaming and sports entertainment apparently so rather than graphic content they would rather have you know things of entertainment that would be like movies and shows something they can stream rather than books which mind you when it comes to books they don't seem to really try to advertise their books anymore. So that already shows where the importance of books to them, novels, you know, graphic books, where they all fall. Comics especially, you know, which comics makes a very small percentage of that. So it shows you that to them, it's not really that important as to where now that they're putting their betting on, you know, streaming services... So they're joining the streaming war. It shows you how much of an impact that streaming itself is having on stuff such as books and novelization. It shows you that streaming is far more important and a greater deal to them than what books are. It's gotten to the point from where you could say like 40 years ago that Simon & Schuster, huge, huge company there, it's not as important to them. Now it's all about the movies and shows they can make and what they can stream. Viacom CBS explores sale of Simon & Schuster Publishing House, company expected to seek more than $1.2 billion for the publisher. So, of course, while they're selling it, this is where I'm going to get into how this is going to be very important. Viacom CBS Incorporated is looking to sell Simon & Schuster book publishing business. Chief Executive Bob Acker said a deal would provide the company with additional cash to spend on its video streaming efforts. See, so, as you can tell, Video to them is what's the most important thing. So rather than when books used to be a very big form of entertainment, you know, many people, which there are still people out there today that still read, but when it comes down to it, books to them just really aren't important. And it's sad to say that we're getting to that point. And they're putting all their betting into streaming services. It shows you how much streaming to this point, you know, with HBO Max, for example, Disney Plus, you know, uh, was it uh, MSNBC's Peacock? I don't know why you would call it that. But it shows you how much the streaming wars are actually affecting everything. And that even includes book sales. I mean, you know, had book sales, you know, novels, publishing and everything, had that still been important to Viacom CBS? Yeah, then they would have kept it. You know, why would they want to get rid of it if it was actually, you know, so important? But clearly they're proving by saying that, oh, we're going to basically just get rid of all of it. You know, we're going to sell it off for $1.2 billion. 
it's not that important to them that since they're putting so much of their own bet on you know streaming for example considering that's what they said yeah it tells you how important book sales book publishing novels all that is to them it's it's really not and that's a shame because it, it really shows you that streaming is really affecting everything i mean this is the evidence right there that it's really affecting it when viacom and cbs merged late last year now Mind you, they were a single entity at one time, and then, of course, they separated, and now they've re-merged again. <laughs> Analysis speculated that the combined company would sell off some assets that didn't dovetail with Viacom's CBS strategy of selling its video content to major cable companies up and coming streaming services and directly to consumers. After the deal for Viacom CBS closed, company executives debated whether they should sell Simon & Schuer or use stories published by the company to fuel its video programming. So, you know, of course, when it comes down to it, you know, they see that the characters or the stories that were novels, it, it could still be important to them as shows or movies. See, that's the way they're looking at it. They're not looking at it as, oh, yeah, we can make book sales, which instead they're looking at it as, we can make this into videos. We can make this into shows and movies, and that's the way it'll sell instead. You know, because they're thinking that the books just aren't important anymore. And it's it's quite sad to see that. It's quite sad to see it get to that point. In a note to Simon & Schuer staffers on Wednesday, the publisher CEO, Carolyn Reedy, urged her colleagues to stay focused on their work. Writing the process will surely be an adventure for all of us, but we are a company that has always risen to the challenges we face. This merger of... Viacom and CBS was completed last year. The company has been looking to raise cash. Mr. Bakish in December said the company is looking to sell CBS's Midtown Manhattan headquarters known as Black Rock. So it shows you that they're getting rid of things that they don't find important. You know, So book sales to them, it's not important. If they can make movies or shows off of it and stream it, that's important because they're gambling all on streaming. And, you know, here's another big thing that really tells you that novels and books is not important to Viacom CBS. This article here by Variety really proves to you how little they care about book sales. And so here's the statement right here. So the statement, Simon & Schuster is not a core asset. It is not video based. It does not have significant connection to our broader business. We have had multiple unsolicited inbound calls about that asset. And so as the market stabilizes, we are going to engage in a process to examine strategic alternatives. So in comparison to what the previous articles we talked about, they haven't really gone into a lot of that. They kind of just scraped that away. But this right here really tells you how little they think of books and you know it kind of goes into the whole idea also of dc comics as well because you know <laughs> dc and marvel they oh the comic book industry is uh in the worst shape that it's ever been in it's it's just collapsing on itself you know but it just shows you they keep that around even though at&t was gonna sell it off which we'll talk about in a moment but they just basically keep that around for what movies and uh what shows they can come up with right that's basically the same situation we're seeing here with viacom cbs they're gambling everything on streaming service as i stated because i'm going to talk about that right now because they think they can make a lot more profit off of shows that's the important way that they see it and now they're jumping into the war here viacom cbs to launch a new streaming service blending cbs all access with paramount films viacom channels so this shows you that this is what's on their mind this is all they care about the books aren't important and, and that's sad that's sad to say that book publishing which you know there are still many people who like books today but it's just not their core importance you know that's that's not what they uh really care about and you don't see advertising for their books really anymore not ever i mean you know and that's one of the biggest problems there is that without the books really getting much light on oh look this book's coming out People don't really know much about it, and that's a shame. It really is. So, of course, what they're going to have on their streaming service will be assets that they have like Pluto TV, Nickelodeon, BET, MTV, Comedy Central, and Paramount Pictures. So, 
there's going to be that. But it just shows you that now that they have thrown everything in like Disney has, like, you know, Warner Media has, you know, as well as NBC Peacock over here, you know, they're they're putting everything into streaming. Streaming is where it's going to be now. You know, it's going to be like the new television, right? The new cable TV. That's the way that they see it. And that's the only thing that really is important to them rather than their book sales. And now when it comes to Viz Media, for example, since Viz Media is actually partnered with Simon & Schuster, the big issue that services here. Okay, so look at it like this. Viz Media is the largest publisher of graphic novels and comic books in the United States with a 23% share of the market. Now, I talked about that a few months ago, if uh, some of you may recall. I talked about how manga is obviously and very easily outperforming comic books because so many issues of comic books. And it's something to worry about in terms of Simon & Schuster, what may happen. I mean, Viz Media, yeah, they're partnered up with Crunchyroll as well, so there's that. But looking at terms of like comic sales and everything like that, I mean, look at how AT&T, you know, they got rid of Dan DiDio, for example. Comic sales are not doing well. They even tried to get rid of DC Comics and then, of course, DC threw out that deal. Then again, AT&T, not looking too good when you look at their stocks, for example. Seeing the stocks drop, I mean, it's been dropping and dropping. It's not been getting any better. And considering that you're seeing it drop more yet again, yeah, it ain't looking too good. <laughs> then again, you know, when AT&T, you know, Warner Media decided to throw millions of dollars into a show that was nothing more than a garbage fest and pushes their woke agenda, you know, yeah, of course people aren't going to care too much for that. They're not going to pay for something like that because, you know, it's terrible when you cater to uh, the woke crowd. Yeah, you know, it's a situation to get woke, go broke. I mean, then again, that goes the same for whenever you make shows that, oh, I don't know, that were at one time entertaining, had passion and love put into it. And then, of course, tragedy strikes and you have terrible writers take over that want to push their political agendas. And, you know, instead of taking responsibility for their own terrible writing, they want to blame a singular race for that instead, even though it has nothing to do with the race at all. Yeah, good one, cock dentures. <laughs> uh, cock dentures will never learn their lesson. That's why they probably won't exist within another year or two. But anyways, the thing of it is, is that when you look at it with Viz Media, what does this mean for Viz? Well, the thing this could possibly mean for Viz is that if you look at it, they are already partnered with Crunchyroll, so, you know, Warner Media might buy them, which would then put them into more debt, which would not be good. That's a possibility. But the thing of it is, is that comic books, the only real big thing about them that they keep them going is the fact that you have characters like Batman, Superman, Flash, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, you know, they care about these characters, and they can obviously make a profit off of them through merchandise like toys and also, you know, like t-shirts and things like that. So that's why they keep that going, because they have a line of merchandise as to where Viacom, CBS, when it comes to graphic novels, they don't really have all that, and that's why the graphic novels tend to not do as well when you think about it. So that's, I guess, the way they're looking at it is, well, we can't really make that merchandise, so we got to sell it all off. And with Viz now, that means that Warner Media might try to scoop them up into their whole fold there. And it, it, it can be a bit worrisome if you actually think about it. So when you think about it, they could be thinking of doing that. And then, you know, of course, using, you know, characters or various different animes, you know, merch that way. It does make me worry about it, considering that, you know, if you look at AT&T and how they almost chopped off DC because, you know, DC wasn't making the sales, and then, of course, DC pitched the idea of, oh, hey, look, let's make the characters woke, and, ugh, you know, that's a terrible idea in itself. It's already bad enough, and then, of course, you know, they want to make it worse, and then at and is over here like, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, sounds great. Let's cater to those people that don't support us, <laughs> because, you know, you're definitely going to make sales to people that don't care, you know. People don't want woke stuff. <laughs> you know, nobody cares about the woke card. What people care about is good entertainment. But, you know, at this point, they just keep DC around to make the movies and the shows. That's really what it comes down to. So, Viz could be taken by Warner Media. It could be a possibility there looking forward. And that's something scary to think about. But, you know, considering how much manga has gone up, you know, I, like, this would be the time right now of the golden age for anime and manga. 
you know, it's kind of scary what could happen going forward if you think about it. And, you know, it, it puts a lot of fear into me. I'm someone who is a big anime manga fan. I mean, you know, we're talking about someone who went to a few cons to try to find a, you know, original copy of Witchblade, you know, one of the first prints. Yeah, found that, kept that, love it to death. But, you know, there is a possibility Amazon might buy it as well, because Amazon, you know, there's an article out there saying Amazon might buy Simon & Schuster. Now, if that were to happen, I don't think it'd be so bad, considering that Amazon, you know, people get books published by Amazon a lot. And seeing that this could be a possibility, it might happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying it's possible. Amazon, you know, they might do it. They, they, they might call upon it. So let's look at this article. Simon & Schuster might be sold sometime this year. The publisher acknowledged that it had received some substantial offers. One of the front runners is Amazon, who insiders say would be better suited to own it than anyone else. Simon & Schuster is a part of the big five publishing companies, and it looks like companies that own them is not very interested in keeping them around if they receive a big offer. Macmillan is owned by Holtzbrink, Hatchet is owned by legendary publishing Harper Collins is almost three times the size of Simon and Schuster and Penguin Random House accounts for one fourth of the books published. So there's a chance Amazon could take it. And I think that if this were to happen, I don't think it'd be so bad. But, you know, with how you see these companies not really caring all that much. You know, it's kind of sad to see that. I mean, you know, books kind of falling out of interest when it comes to these companies. You know, they don't really advertise for them. You know, streaming is what it's all about to these companies now. They feel like that's the most important thing, and they just don't find books, graphic novels, to be as important anymore. And like I said, it's just sad to see the day and age that we're getting to that point, but that's where it's getting to with these companies and you know book publishers they only get a certain percentage because you know they don't get as much as you would think so for them to be interested in you know getting the book publisher yeah that's that's another big thing in itself but but the thing of it is is that you know what they're looking at more so is what can they take and what can they strip from to make shows and movies out of it that people will watch i mean it's all about hollywood it's all about you know, what they can produce from the content, you know, what, what shows or movies can they make and make money off of and stream it. That's basically what it comes down to. And so, you know, that's what it is. I mean, that's basically what DC does. You know, they basically just try to figure out what kind of movie or show they can make about what hero and, you know, hope it goes well. But then again, you know, with Hollywood being at the helm too, you know, you have a lot of <laughs> rather than actual entertainment, you have a lot of woke politics being thrown into it. Nobody cares about it. So, as to what could happen with Viz, it's worrisome. It, it can be, and I bet you as the streaming wars continue, we're going to see more of this. You know, see it with DC, see it with Marvel. I, I bet you we're going to see a lot more of this coming in the future, and just shows you how important books are to these big companies for certain. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube's unsubscribing people from their favorite channel, so make sure you're still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Also, hit the video with a like if you enjoyed. Share the video on social media, spread the word, and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated, and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. We'd love to have you. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released as well well as any other upcoming events in the future to come. So the link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you and have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.